Hey guys, what's up? Today we're in Lawrence Field and we're climbing one pegged wall, VS5A. I got on this route as a part of uh, our 10 routes in a day challenge with Luke and we were getting pretty tired and I was getting a bit grumpy as well. So it might come across in the video, I'm not sure. Also, I'll put the uh, video from the 10 routes in a day below so you guys can check it out. It's pretty funny seeing myself that knackered but also having so much fun. So you get to this break where the crack starts and I placed a nut as high as I could because I was so close to the ground at this point. I didn't like this placement but I couldn't really get it out either so I just went on and used it. Avoiding the crack at first, I used some holes to the right of it and got my feet to the brake and got to my second gear placement, which I wasn't happy about either, but I clipped it and I was like, ah, this is not that great, or whatever I was thinking. But instead of placing another piece and either leaving the first one there or just taking it out after I placed another one, I take it out and just faff around so much, it's ridiculous. <laughs> is a nut tool hanging at my knees. Uh, I guess it was just a long day and I <laughs> forgot to clip it. Also, talking about efficiency, I'm not sure what I was thinking bringing a full rack on a 8 meter finger crack pitch. So I have like the blue can a lot and like all this gear I'm never gonna use <laughs> on this pitch. I could have I could have gotten away with like a set of nuts, three cams, and that would have been it. <laughs> but no, I'm carrying hexes, like full set of hexes, full set of cams. Jesus. <laughs> Back then I was a lot more confident in placing Passive Pro but looking at this video now I'm like this crack would probably take a cam really well and the placement would be super quick and instead I've just faff around with the nuts and yeah it's not working, <laughs> not working too well for me. On the other hand nowadays I've gotten so lazy that I prefer cams to Passive Pro and I also feel more comfortable taking falls on them. Ah, uh, bummer. I felt like the crux was pretty much near the end where you had to use the arete and the crack to get high feed and reach for the top. I once went to Lawrence Field 
just with my bouldering pad and I was thinking, ah, maybe I could solo this short VS crack climb. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Knowing what I know now, that the crux is near the top and I would definitely not be okay falling off the top on my bouldering pad. I'm pretty happy I decided not to try and solo it. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, this was Once Packed Wall in Lawrence Field. Hope you enjoyed it. I was probably rambling on a bit more than I usually do, so sorry for that. <laughs> As always, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it. Get out there and I'll see you in the next one.